Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at two really cool Samsung monitors. On the left hand side I have Samsung S80 4K monitor, this is a 27 inch. And on the right hand side I have 32 inch Samsung M70B. So I've been using both of these for quite a while. On the right hand side that M70B is connected to my PS5 and the Xbox. And on the left hand side, the S80 is connected to my new Mac Mini. So let's go over both of these. Now when it comes to the size, of course the M70 is a little bit bigger, 32 inch compared to the 27. But when you have them in front of you, the difference isn't that huge to be honest. Now let's talk about the inputs and outputs on both of these. The S80 has three USB type A, also has HDMI. Display port and the USB C. M70B has a similar setup where it does have three USB Type A, also has USB C, HDMI, but instead of the Display port, it also has another HDMI. So it has two HDMI's, three USB Type A's, USB C. Now, when it comes to the USB, both of these come with the cables as well. So you can end up using that USB. You can end up charging your tablet. You can end up charging the Chromebook. You can end up charging your phone. But also what you can do is you can use that to display something else. For example, I've been using that USB-C to connect my Chromebook and add the external display for the Chromebook. So it works with the 4K and looks really, really good. You can end a few different things. You can transfer files and stuff like that as well. Now both of these also have built-in speakers and they sound pretty good. Now one difference between the two, for example, the S80, you can actually put the monitor down. So let me show you that a little bit. You do have to hold it so it goes down and then you can put it up, but also you can do angles as well. Now the M70B, you can only do angles. It doesn't go up and down, but since it is so large, there really isn't any point for it to go up and down. So as long as you find the right angle and that's something that it can do. Now there's one huge difference between the two. M70B is actually a smart monitor. So it also comes with this little remote. So you have power button, you have a system button, direction up, down, left and right, back, home, play, pause, then you have volume. This is for the live channels. Then it has Netflix, Samsung TV Plus, Prime Video, and the Disney. And the remote itself is really nice. It's very light and it's also rechargeable. So it does have built-in battery. All right, now that I have the camera a little bit closer. So if I do press the home menu, this little page will pop up. So here I can go for the workspace. Also I can search for different apps. I can also use the assistant to search. For example, I can say open Netflix or what's the weather and you get the point. And here is the media. So you have a lot of different apps here so you can get, for example, it also has like if you use Samsung phones, it has Samsung Health, also has full blown internet browser. That's all built in. Now let's go back to the home page again. And now here we have other apps like Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Apple TV, YouTube app. And also there's a lot of different suggestions here as well. This Samsung monitor also has a thing called Samsung TV Plus. I can't really open it because of the copyright, but the way it works, it just gives you a lot of different movies, a lot of different shows, probably thousands of channels. Uh, really interesting. I haven't really used them much. As I said, I have this connected to the PS5 and the Xbox, and I use them mostly for the gaming. Um, but overall, it does offer quite a lot, to be honest. I mean, you can also connect this. I had it connected with my Mac Mini as well. And another thing is you can connect it, for example, with the workspace. So here you can end up adding that to the Windows PC, also Mac, Samsung DAX. You can also end up opening up Microsoft 365 if you do use that. Another thing I almost forgot to mention, on the Samsung M70B, you actually have built-in cloud gaming app. So for example, you can connect this with the PS5 over cloud, Xbox, Luna, GeForce now, there's a couple others I haven't heard of, but you can end up playing triple A titles on just your monitor. So you don't need to have Xbox connected or PS5. You can end up playing quite a lot of different games. I mean, Fortnite, FIFA, and stuff like that. You do need to have subscription, but everything is built in. Just connect the controller, Xbox or PS5 controllers and start playing triple A titles. 
Both of these are really amazing monitor. The big question is, do you need the extra stuff that M70B offers? And if the answer is yes, then it's a clear choice which one you want to get. But overall, honestly, I would recommend either one of these. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.